Hey guys, this is Tim Baker with uh, You, Me, and BTC for episode 211. I am re-recording this because, one, I didn't feel like I yelled at you guys enough the first times I did the recording, and I forgot to number the podcast. So, uh, it's number 211. Um, I, I don't know why you're still listening to us, but good on you if you are. Uh, I'm going to talk about f- most just one thing today, but I'm going to get our little ad out in the first place because... This is, we're doing two episodes a week now, um, so you get two times the goodness, two times me talking in your ear, or Zach, or Daniel, two times of getting to hear maybe John's music, I don't really remember if Daniel puts it on these or not, but who cares, two times of remembering that you, me, and BTC is the only constant in your life, and the only thing that is worth love and appreciation in this coming holiday season. Anyway who you can also thank for bringing you you me and btc and all that is good in your world is america's card room now america's card room gambling website but what makes them different than other gambling websites is they accept bitcoin and 60 different cryptocurrencies for both deposits and withdrawals so you say you can deposit with ethereum then you can take it back out and something else uh bitcoin ethereum litecoin dash they have i'm sure they have the list on their website go check it out there at america's card room and the reason they're they're giving us a nice little coupon code uh bonus code for you guys if you sign up using this which is btc 100 and if you use that you get a welcome bonus of 100 percent bonus on top of your first deposit up to one thousand dollars so if you put in 500 you get a thousand if you put in a thousand you get two thousand you guys can fucking figure out math also they'll give you free entries in uh, up to four new depositor free rolls and up to fifty dollars in additional free cash it's america's card room btc 100 and they take all kinds of different cryptos and you can deposit and withdraw in those so that's great. They're cool. We love them, and uh, you guys better love them because they bring us to you two times a week now. Now, for what I'm going to do for my little specialty, my monologue is right off the bat. I'm going to say fuck miners, and I don't mean that in the way that's going to get me sent to prison. Or not me. I guess technically, if I'm telling you guys on a podcast, I could just say that it's a joke. I could say it's for uh, entertainment purposes only. But I don't want you guys going to prison because I'm sure it's hard to get internet, although with net neutrality falling off and going apart, and apparently the internet's going down. I actually had to stab an old woman out in front of my house the other day because she was just using too much internet, and I had to shoot her in the face. She wanted to check her uh, Twitter to see if any of her grandchildren cared about her. Um, Well, they don't anymore, and I also haven't gotten anything on Twitter from them, so I don't think they ever did. But... What I mean by saying fuck miners is fuck miners, fuck the mostly the selling of mining equipment, but also just people who, and this is what has happened before, and I distinctly remember this from back whenever Bitcoin had one of its earliest huge jumps, not from the like uh, 30 cents to $20, just because I only kind of got in at $20, uh, but the when it jumped up to 1000 for the first time, there were so many goddamn people saying that you need to buy miners and we need to, you're going to make so much money off of this. They have mining calculators. They have mining spreadsheets. They have mining pools. They have mining. Sh- everything's mining because, oh, it's free internet money. And that is like probably where a lot of that comes from is it's not just that Bitcoin is some ethereal thing and you can't really, you can't hold it like a dollar which is somehow beneficial to some people. I don't really know why, especially with how much digital stuff we have now. But it's that, wait, who, who, okay, so who makes it? Oh, you mine it with your computer, with your CPU or GPU? That doesn't make any sense. How can you just get free money? Well, CPUs don't really work anymore. And basically for Bitcoin, ASIC miners have taken over everything. They basically run the shit. If you're mining with a CPU, you're, really not doing anything besides just wasting your electricity uh but you can use those for uh, certain alt currencies and that is actually where i'm hearing a lot more interest now is in mining alt currencies because bitcoin has kind of gotten to the point where it's it's very much only with big miners unless you're getting in with a pool which 
doesn't really make that much sense to me because then you're only getting a little bit of the reward. You're getting this bare little fraction whenever the uh, whenever the pool finds a block. But if you do, a lot of people are talking about mining with all currencies. Now, I, Daniel and I have definitely said this on the podcast before, but in our experience, we've we bought from Butterfly Labs about four years ago. I think I think it was the year after I got no, that's like five years now. It's close to five years ago. No, it's probably between four and five. But anyway, it doesn't really fucking matter. Um, we bought a Butterfly Labs miner, which we, after break, basically breaking even through what we had mined, uh, we shot it and burned it and stabbed it. And I believe just last episode of the episode before last, our live one, Daniel was making a mention of that. So if you guys, if that does sound interesting to you, if you hate Butterfly Labs, or if you dislike badass people shooting miners um check that video out but we basically shot it stabbed it sit on fire stomped on it and basically did our part as the whole rest of the bitcoin community did in shitting on butterfly labs for their abhorrent service and their awful times tables now the problem with butterfly labs was in the problem where we kind of just broke even was they would have been pretty um uh we would have made a, a decent amount of money or at least that the calculators were showing them as profitable if they had been delivered on time or if they actually performed to the extent that they were listed as doing i don't know about these new miners but part of the problem with miners is they give you this list and part of the problem with mining calculators is they give you a set well this will be able to this will have this hash and it'll be that quick but that is at peak running performance without overheating without wear and tear without any other number of problems and get in the way also when we were mining bitcoin wasn't doing too well it wasn't it wasn't having this skyrocketing this mooning effect right now where we've gone up two thousand dollars in the past couple weeks or just a week maybe yeah i think it was like it's like 1850 right now i'll check that real quick but that was part of also the reason why we barely broke even. Yes. No. Right now, as I say this, and I guess I should put the date into, I'm recording this on December 12th, two, uh, <laughs> December 12th, or December 18th. I'm sorry. I'm recording this December 18th, 2017 at 8, 12 PM. And the Bitcoin price on Coinbase is listed as 18, $18,930. So like I was saying, the Bitcoin price wasn't doing too well. So that was part of the reason why we kind of just broke even but also the only reason why um it like in my opinion now nah, fuck it this is the only thing that's gonna happen because i might as well be uh make a point and people can complain later but the only reason why the calculators are showing most of these miners as being profitable now is just because the price has jumped up this much over the weekend, I had the very great pleasure of several people who aren't really too involved with Bitcoin, don't really know the, they, they don't give a shit. That's probably the best way to put it. There's no real concern about what blockchain can do. That's no, there's no concept of using Ethereum as a proof or a, a use of um contracts or digital contracts or even using bitcoin as anything else besides a, a get rich quick scheme and they kept on telling me about how they wanted to run uh we'll, we'll just have these miners together we'll run them and we'll make this was also the other thing that kind of annoyed me is their idea was to make four dollars a day which i don't understand why the fuck you're doing that um like whenever daniel and i bought the miner before eventually we would have just done better we would have made more money by just putting the money we put into the miner into Bitcoin and just watching it go up. I think that's probably a better investment for you regardless of the time. And even if Bitcoin drops now, I think it'll go higher eventually. So you might as well just put it into Bitcoin, put your money in there, neither watch it grow or just keep it in there and realize that Bitcoin makes more sense as a currency than something like the dollar or not even necessarily just Bitcoin, but taking your money out of the U.S. dollar is just a good idea in general to protect against inflation instead of just letting it sit in a bank account, instead of just 
spending it, like I even mentioned in a episode earlier, where our economy and the, the kind of money we have kind of, it very much incentivizes consumerism and just spending the money because it's not going to be worth as much later. Bitcoin's something different. Bitcoin's changing stuff like that. But people are still looking at Bitcoin and alt currencies as a get rich quick scheme. Something like, uh, like it's almost like they come across as like prospectors. We're like, no, we're gonna we're gonna go out to California. We're gonna pan these these rivers. There's gold flowing down the mountains. There's gold in the rocks. There's gold in the food. There's gold in everything. Right now, people are like. There's Bitcoin everywhere. Bitcoin's so good. And there's all these different cryptocurrencies and you can do whatever. And it's like, yeah, there are a fuck ton of alt altcoins, but that also does make a lot of them kind of shitty. And if you can mine them, sure. But I don't really get the point of doing that now um, if, for that point. I don't understand. Uh, and this is just me. I'm mostly lazy. I don't like setting the shit up. I've done it before mining. I think I mined dark coin before it turned into dash uh i didn't get that much and i probably don't i think i might have even lost those things which isn't good I, if i could find them i'd probably have more money and be happier and wouldn't be bitching on a podcast but the idea of the mining and the idea of supporting a market like that shouldn't be just to make money because if you if you if you incentivize that kind of behavior, then as soon as the money goes down or as soon as anything bad happens, the person isn't just going to go, Oh, I don't want to do this one coin anymore. Or I just, I don't want to, I don't want to try to make money. They're going to go, no, fuck this. Fuck supporting this. Fuck doing anything for this. I'm going to forget all about all of it. Forget about all of it. And it kind of seems like it puts a bad taste in people's mouths. And I think that might happen pretty soon just with, Bitcoin in general, because we're having so many new people come into it now because it is at $18,000 that as soon as it drops, they're going to probably have a lot of people who just got in and are going to just be completely soured to the idea and be completely against it. Hopefully, maybe they move to a different altcoin. Maybe they kind of they, they put the backing and the money and the energy behind developing a different altcoin that kind of just becomes the next Bitcoin, becomes the next big thing, or becomes the, the, the new currency where Bitcoin becomes more of like a store of value versus using it as a currency where now so many people are having problems with uh, the um, fuck or having problems with uh um, c confirmation time and things taking like that and just having to pay so much for their uh, money to go through and the amount of time that is required by the website normally they give you like a half hour or something like that to to get it to them before they kind of they close that would be great if it pushes people to supporting something like that but I don't think that's what's going to happen just because that's normally most people are not perseverant uh, in today's world I think it is something that we we kind of we you can train yourself or people can naturally be where they're uh, we very much hold our ideals but if their ideals kind of come around to fuck them most people lose those ideals we're not really tied to ideals from a, any most of the time a, a an actual dedication or a uh, a moral about it or a value it's just well this is good for me this works for me it makes me feel good or it makes me money and whenever it doesn't do that or even even goes to the opposite and it messes things up for you people are going to go against that so again fuck miners um and please somebody edit this and uh just sample out that and just put me out there just saying that that'd be awesome for the bitcoin for uh you mean btc's publicity um better yet find one time daniel says it and just edit that out and put him out there because he definitely looks more like a pedophile than i do get ready for crypto overload we're making it easy to get into the game at america's card room with your favorite cryptocurrency we are thrilled to announce that you can deposit and cash out using more than 60 different cryptocurrencies. We are the first poker site to offer this after already accepting Bitcoin from the beginning. Cryptocurrencies are the future. We can predict that playing real money poker will never be easier at americascardroom.com. Okay, I've talked about Bitcoin with mining for a little bit. 
and then the same people who I, I dealt with over the weekend, um, they're telling me about how they're mining, I think it was like Zcash, Zen Cash or something like that, or Zen Coin, something like that. And again, it's like, wh why? Why? <laughs> you don't give a sh like, okay, it'll maybe make some money, but then why don't you just buy some and hope it goes up instead of running it on the back of your computer because it's free money? Like, nobody, you can't, there are very few times, and I understand that obviously whenever Bitcoin started, people did do that. But the same thing, you go to faucets with, when Bitcoin was, I remember doing that even at $20. You go to a website every 30 minutes or something, you press refresh, you type something in, and then, oh, here, here's some Bitcoin, which now at this price, it's it was probably like a couple, like 40 bucks each time you did that or something like that. I don't really want to do the math because I don't want to have to kill myself after this episode, but they still, they gave you money. The free money you're going to get from your computer, unless you have like a serious setup, isn't going to, to make you that much money and then whenever you don't make that money you're going to be pissed off like if you put in two thousand dollars into mining equipment which right now anything that is doing even close to what you need is most is back ordered or they're reselling them on ebay and you don't really know if you're getting a new model or if you're getting uh an, even a miner that works when you lose that, you're going to be like, oh, fuck all of this. I'm not even going to work with Bitcoin. I'm just going to go back to using the dollar. I'm going to use my credit card. I'm going to use all this shit. So I think that the best idea for, it, I guess partly why I'm making the episode isn't that to tell you guys what to do. Because I actually do trust, if you're listening to this, you've probably read enough about Bitcoin. You probably hear about enough. You're somewhat involved with the world. Unless you did just hear this for the first time, then I would say don't get into mining. Don't do that as your first thing into Bitcoin. Maybe learn about it a little bit more. Don't just get right into mining Litecoin. Learn about it a little bit. Uh, develop, figure out what you like. Do you like Bitcoin because of its decentralization? Then sure, maybe get into mining, get into maybe running a node to show some support uh, because it, it then becomes something that you're doing because you like it and because you want to see this thing succeed, not because you're like, oh, I can I can make some quick money off of this because you, you're not going to make quick money off of it, more than likely. Um, or just if you like like Dash because of, uh, because of the increased privacy, increased anonymity, then support that because you're really behind security and anonymity. But if you're going into something from the get-go, especially as a new person, you have no kind of attachment to it, or you have no real thoughts either way about what one you're doing, unless you li literally have free electricity and you don't give a shit about your computer and the wear and tear on it, and you don't have any problems running a mining program in the back background, sure, do it, but then don't don't be surprised when you don't make any money or you make like three dollars because it, it just doesn't work like that if if it if it was there'd be so many other people already doing this shit but if like i said if you do already know this if you do all that shit please sure fine mine it run whatever even if you don't support it then you at least still have the concept of this probably won't just make me money out of nowhere Mostly why I'm making this is it. you have people come up, oh, what should you do? Or I had multiple just asking me if I wanted to get it into this mining. I'm like, no, fuck that. I don't want to do this shit again. I already have the problem. And you explain that to them. They don't fucking listen because nobody does when they're thinking about making a bunch of money. They just go, oh, wait, put like this, blah, 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 blah. As a... If someone does come to you, if people think of you as like a Bitcoin source of knowledge, I would try to steer new people away from mining for what I said before and miners. If, if people come to you talking about fucking miners, steer them away from that. Tell them that's what Daniel Brown does. But if, if a new person, <laughs> seriously, if a new person comes to you and is asking like, what should I do or asking you about your ideas for mining... I would tell them no, and I would hope that, I would think that most people would too. It's just not a good way to get into this. It's not a, it doesn't force you to really understand it, especially if, if their idea of it is, oh, I'll just run this in the background and I won't even notice it. 
that's not going to help you learn about crypto using it will spending it will buying it will talking with people on forums will all that shit but just running something in the background you can't make a, a fortune off of something that is not at all intrusive to your life you need to kind of, i don't want to say that most of the time you can't do that there's always outliers but most of the time you can't so I would steer people more towards, hey, you think Bitcoin's going to go up? Hey, you think Litecoin's going to go up? Hey, you think Dash is going to go up? Buy some of the shit. Don't mine it because you think it's free money. Take some of the fucking US dollars that are sitting, they're, they're just depreciating as you hold them. Take some of that, put it in there. You have 50 bucks, put it into Bitcoin. Put, it doesn't matter. You Like, people that, oh, I don't have enough to do that. Well, you, you weren't, like... If you're having that kind of attitude, you weren't going to have enough back whenever it was less to make money off of it now because you didn't even have the concept of the the dollar not being the greatest currency or not being uh, what is going to kind of just run things. But if you're looking at trying to short Bitcoin, that almost never works out for people. Um, if you're looking at just trying to ride something up and then just sell it back into the U.S. dollar... Again, I wouldn't say do that. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's an easy way to lose money and it doesn't support Bitcoin. It doesn't show any, doesn't help you learn about it. It doesn't help you develop any idea of it or any concept of what a cryptocurrency is. But if someone, I would much rather somebody do that and just buy it uh, than start to mine stuff because then they at least do hold it. They see how it it is a deflationary uh, a, a deflationary currency or a deflationary asset. And I think that that is a much better representation of what Bitcoin is and what Bitcoin can be than telling someone to just, or any, excuse me, or any alt currency. It's a much better representation than just, oh, here, run this in the background on your computer and it'll give you free money. Like that, it's just, it's retarded. That is like, it's just dumb. It annoys me. And I'm just super sensitive about stuff. And plus, when I redid this episode, I drank enough caffeine, took enough Kratom that I'm just really freaking out about stuff right now. But uh, I, I really don't like that. I think it's a bad way to introduce people to stuff. And I think it sends the wrong message that mining, and I, I do understand there's mining rewards for a reason. It's to incentivize people to do it. But you're also, mining is a very integral part to it. And you do need that to run the system and to, to run everything. So I think if you point people more towards and you, I, I think as people and as a, a community, if we get more to focusing on the whole idea of everybody runs some very little thing, not about the money, not about whatever, but because you do support the, the community, you support Bitcoin, you support Litecoin, whatever you support, you run that, minor or you run a node because you want to see it grow and you want to see it develop because you believe in whatever that is don't get into cryptocurrency because it's a good way to make money because that's a very easy way to bite you in the ass and and personally i believe it's just kind of a shitty way to use cryptocurrency it's fine it's not a, it doesn't it's not morally reprehensible or anything but it's not the ideal way of treating a cryptocurrency and it doesn't kind of give respect to what all of these things can do and how truly different they are from regular uh fiat currencies or even gold or something there's just so many more potentials so that's basically what i had to say today um hit me up on twitter or no hit daniel up on twitter if you have any uh problems if you have any issues tell him that he sucks tell him that you're Actually, no, uh, from the show, and you'll have to tune in sometime, we've had someone continuously offer Daniel one Bitcoin to take his shirt off. Text him and tell him that you'll... <laughs> Text Daniel, tell him you'll send him a Bitcoin if he takes his shirt off, if he posts a picture. When he does that, then tell him that you're, a, that you're an underage and then call the FBI on him. But if you do have a specific uh, comment about this episode, episode, what, what did I say, 211, I believe... If you have a comment about that, if you have a comment, tell me if you're mining, tell me if you've made millions mining, tell me if I'm just stupid uh, in general. Uh, get me on Twitter at 
Baker's dozen ninety three all one and never mind not all <laughs> all all Twitter handles are one word never mind but uh, Baker's dozen ninety three uh, get me on there uh, tweet me tell me your reaction to the episode tell me if it sucked or whatever uh, but have a good week guys uh, love you uh, be there with us on our live episode on Thursday at nine p.m. Eastern and fuck miners. Satoshi, what you gonna do? She, all this money that I got make me richie. I got Bitcoin. I'm so rich. Uh, Money. I'm so rich. Money. I'm so rich. Slaves.